Happy birthday, me. Happy 30th birthday. Well, boy, I'm off to tackle the day. Wish me luck. Hello, Fitzgerald Enterprises. This is Patricia. How can I help you? Hey, it's the birthday girl. I didn't see you at your desk this morning. Um, where are you? I've been doing very well. I already left a message on your phone this morning telling you that I was going to be working on the special graph that Mr. Warsdale assigned me to. Why are you doing that grueling work for Mr. Tight-Ass Warsdale? Well, hopefully, if things go very well, then Mr. Fitzgerald will be able to see my hard work when Mr. Warsdale presents it. And then afterwards, maybe I'll get that promotion that I've been working hard for for a long time. Okay, listen, you've got to check out this awesome birthday message I sent to you. It's at your email. You know the rules. We're not allowed to be able to go online so we can be able to search for things that are not related to work. As you already know, the computer's Wi-Fi is already connected to the system. If the system sees anything that is not related to work, the computers will shut down immediately and all of my work will be deleted. Oh, come on. It's your big day. That's very sweet of you, and I'm sure I'll check on it on my break, but that's the last thing I need right now. Check it out real quick. He won't notice. <sighs> All right, I'll check it out right now. But I'm only doing this very quickly, okay? Okay, thanks for the wishes. Bye-bye. <sighs> Better see what this stupid thing's about. Happy, happy birthday from all of us to you. We wish it was our birthday so we could party too. Hey! <laughs> Oh, well, that was very sweet, but not so much to get myself into major trouble. Hold on, I have another birthday message? Oh, it's from my friend's Romantic Expression. Let's see what it says. I first heard about Patricia's videos through Manic Expression. More specifically, the Manic Expression movie, A Sight in Scarlet. Most of the time she was on screen, she kept talking about Nickelodeon, and I thought, is this someone who reviews strictly Nickelodeon stuff, or at least talks about it a lot? So I found her old school lane YouTube page and just binge watched a bunch of stuff, starting mostly with the Nick Jukebox stuff, but I'd say my favorite video so far would have to be the top 15 as told by Ginger episodes, because it reminded me, wow, this show really was ahead of its time. So I hope you have a very happy birthday, Patricia, and good luck on all your future projects. How did I get to meet Patricia? Well, I've pretty much got to thank people like Ozzy Arcane and James Manic for that because it was being invited to places like Reviewers Unknown and Manic Expression that allowed me to meet people like Patricia and many other people of the Reviewerverse. That's kind of the great thing about it is just getting introduced and invited by one person, one individual, open doors to be invited to and meet a lot of other people as well. What's my favorite work of hers? Well, actually I think it's still yet to come. I'm actually really looking forward to this upcoming retrospective on the Carmen San Diego franchise. So here's looking forward to that. Happy birthday Patricia and looking forward to everything that's coming out in the near future in their whole review of Earth. Hi Patricia, this is Yboy here from Cartoon Corner here to wish you a happy birthday. Like, <laughs> we've known each other for quite a while and it's been great knowing you and I've had a ton of fun doing a bunch of graphics for your show. So I hope you spent today having the most fun that you could possibly have. Happy birthday. Hey Patricia, this is Clancy, better known as Jack off of Manic Expression and I just want to say hope you have a great birthday. Really enjoy getting to know you on Manic Expression. Really enjoy your videos and all the projects that you do. Uh, gotta say, it was a lot of fun whenever we were both on either Tim's podcast, Something Cinematic, or on Di Manic Expression Digression Session, or uh, the couple times you had me on Old School Lane. Anyways, hope you have a great birthday. Hello! Happy 30th birthday, Patricia and Miranda. Yes, this is James Sullivan. 
filming you as sort of uh, high and dry this uh, this little uh, happy birthday wish video. Hope you don't mind while I um, fix up dinner. I looked around. I'm like, oh, I'm having pot stickers tonight. Sounds good. So yeah, um, yeah. When I first uh, started coming across your stuff, it was actually years ago when um, I, I remember uh, there was uh, uh, I was first getting onto that expression, and I think. Uh, uh, I think that was a, at a time when I just sort of decided to uh, binge around, you know, look at who's on there and uh, just see, okay, how many of these people are on Facebook? And uh, lo and behold, I just started friending up uh, different people who uh, who were uh, uh, who were on the site, on Facebook, and uh, you know, might be able to collaborate and do a little something with in the future. Um, and. That uh, uh, that was the time you had a old school lane going, I believe it was. Uh, you had a you had a podcast that was more like uh, that was more like your version of a radio station. Oop. That's enough water. And uh, you, uh, you you played um, you played uh, songs on there that were meant to. Uh, that were all from uh, classic, classic Nickelodeon programs, I think. And uh, I just remember listening to that. I was never huge on Nickelodeon myself, but um, I, I did recognize some some stuff in there, and I I remember it sort of getting a bit of a nostalgic trip out of it, which is always nice. It uh, it was exactly like listening to the radio. Only it had Nickelodeon tunes on it, and I found that rather fascinating. Um, and on top of that, I, I actually, I actually bought a song on the uh, on the Walmart just because I I heard it on that uh, I heard it on that one. It was uh, you uh, you played one. A uh, song cover of uh, of uh, I Only Want to Be With You. I forget the name of the band, but it was kind of a, a steady uh, modern progressive rock rendition of it. And I don't know exactly where that came from, or or you know what relation that had to uh, to Nickelodeon. Uh, maybe it was in in one of their programs. I'm trying to find the right lid here. Ah, I think this is it. Yep. Uh, but yeah, I found it rather catchy and I was just sort of listening to it afterward and I said, you know what, hey, I, I think I'll just go ahead and uh, buy this in Walmart. So you introduced me to some new music there uh, by way of your, your podcast. And after that, um, it, only got, uh, it only got more and more interesting. Um, I, I, I didn't... I didn't quite uh, pay attention to a lot of your written work, but uh, not too long ago, uh, you invited me to be uh, part of your uh, part of your current podcast, talking about um, talking about uh, Pee Wee's Big Holiday, the recent Netflix movie, and I, I don't know how you. How you'd know that I've watched it? I'm presuming that maybe you just sort of came across uh, my Facebook posting uh, saying that I saw the uh, the movie and enjoyed it, and and said, "Hey, let's let's bring this guy into the podcast." And I was I was actually kind of rather flattered by that. Um. But yeah, it's um, it it that was that that whole episode was just sort of interesting. I can't believe I'm I'm actually amazed that you got in contact with a guy who wrote a book about Pee Wee's Playhouse. He was that much of a fan. 
of the show. I mean, that's that's dedication right there, not just from them, but from you also. So I think that um, a lot of what you do on the site has actually has actually been quite interesting. It's it's not. Um, I, I'm the type of person that uh, uh, that I'm the type of person that uh, that doesn't actually listen too often to uh, to podcast material unless it's really really pertinent and uh, and uh, I don't know if someone says hey you got you gotta watch this for whatever reason um, if the subject really uh, if the subject matter uh, really appeals to me and I have time to look at it, then, you know, then you got me talking. So, um, basically, I, I like what I've, what I've seen you do, and, uh, um, I'm just glad that, um, uh, you're, you're making it to 30 years, congratulations, and, uh, uh that's that's just the the start of a new life for you. Af, after thirty, things uh, things are gonna get interesting. Trust me. All right. Well, uh, that's all I have to say for now. Just uh, happy birthday and ciao for now. You say it's your birthday. Oh, should I sing that? Cause ah. Uh... With YouTube's copyright policy, I might get busted. Happy birthday. Oh, wait. That song is copyrighted, too. What can I say? Hmm. Well, without getting a copyright bust, I'd just like to say happy birthday. Congratulations, Patricia. Best of luck to you, and I wish you all the more success. Chibi Thilu, you finished defusing that bomb she sent me yet? Happy 30th birthday, Patricia. Man, 30. What a milestone. I remember turning 30. You know, your 20s, you're wild, you're free, everything's new and exciting, and then 30 comes, and... I realized I was going to die at that point, so... But now I can feel the darkness growing ever closer. Yeah, 30, so yeah, good luck with that. Happy birthday. I love you guys so much. Thanks. Oh no. No, 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 no. No, please. Come on, turn back on, turn back on. Oh no, what am I gonna do? I am gonna be in so much trouble. Scratch that. I'm already in huge, huge trouble. Fitzgerald Enterprises, this is Patricia. How can I help you? Miss Miranda. Mr. Warsdale, sir. How are you? I saw from the system that you were online looking at some sort of, I don't know, uh, if you want to call it, a video and not your work. Yes, sir. I completely understand, but I can explain. I simply don't have time for this since I have a meeting with Mr. Fitzgerald in a few minutes. But let me tell you, Miss Miranda, I could assure you that we will talk about this later in the afternoon. Yes, sir. Understood. Bye-bye. Oh, God. What else could go? What an awful, awful day. And to think that today is my birthday 
And I was so, so close to being fired. Or something so stupid. But at least I'm home and I can just relax and maybe, I don't know, see if the guys are available for a podcast or something. You think you should be doing that? Who are you? What do you mean, who am I? I'm the real you. What do you mean by that? Then, who am I? A part of myself that I became trying to escape from a life of unemployment and depression. But no more. It's been four years already. What have you done in your life since then? What do you mean? Old School Lane has done very well. I mean, after all, I have over 500 subscribers, and my blog views have doubled since the past year, and also I've had a lot of great guests over, and I've had a lot of my friends guest star with me in a couple of podcasts. Just a handful of subscribers, a handful of views, <laughs> that little blog of yours. Nothing more than just a stupid time waster. I don't understand. W what are you getting at? Oh, pff, I don't know, like finding a real job as opposed to this stupid full-time job that you've had for a couple of years. And um, uh, let's see, oh yeah, moving away from your parents' house. I mean, after all, you need to start moving away at some point. And there's finding a significant other, maybe having a family. I mean, all of your other coworkers and friends, they've already done that. And you're the only one who's pretty much stayed the same way ever since graduating from college. Even with the economy going really bad over the past couple of years, it's picked up, at least for now, and you should have had the best opportunity for you to make something of yourself. But instead, you were just scared. You were just laying down in your bed feeling sorry for yourself. And then what happened? Oh, you decided to start off this little blog just so you can be able to post on things that you grew up with. You're staying in the past, Miranda. It's about time that you just shape up and get yourself into the future. I mean, after all, today's your birthday, isn't it? And how old are you? You're 30. You've left your 20s. The time in your life where you're starting to figure out who you are. The time in your life where you can be able to become free. And you can be able to become independent. Try to see if you can be able to make it out into the world. But instead, you're not. You're still in the same exact place that you've always been. And you haven't gotten anywhere. You should feel ashamed of yourself. But, 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 but I, I'll tell you how you could start. You can start announcing to your little fan base that you're stopping this stupid blog right now. What? Quit old school lane? I worked really, really hard on that. And you just want me to quit just like that? You can't be serious. It's about time that you stop hiding in your tiny little corner and start actually making something of yourself. Get a real job. Meet with other people. Just do something other than just huddling in your computer, watching a whole bunch of shows from 20 or 30 years ago that nobody gives a shit about, and actually do something productive. You should have done it a long time ago. I think now is the proper time to do it. You're not getting any younger, honey. Maybe, maybe you're right. <sighs> All right, I'll do what I have to do. Hey everyone, this is Patricia. I take it that you may expect me to do some sort of happy birthday video. Me talking about what a particular subject means to me. Maybe about what my plans are for old school lane. But I'm afraid that's about to come to an end. Yeah.
crisis be home and somebody said you were doing fine I play a game that you're not there I thought to myself for a long time that maybe doing this blog and these podcasts have been more harmful to me than good I can try I mean, I'm not the same 26-year-old I was when I first started doing these things. So, I'm afraid to let you guys know that I'm going to be quitting old school lane. I'm sure that you'll probably just be sad for a few minutes and then maybe find another person that discusses about the same things that I do with better in-depth discussions and maybe even nicer video quality or visual graphics, but there's a lot of other people like me in the internet, and then eventually I'm sure as time goes on you'll forget all about me. You know, there comes a time when you just sit back and think to yourself, where has the time gone? And to me, I guess I should have done that a long time ago. I need to know when is the right time for me to finally grow up and to realize that there are better things to do out there in the world besides talking about nostalgic things. And so for the small amount of people who actually did care about what I had to say, thanks. Thanks a lot. It means the world to me. So this is me saying goodbye to my house I must say, that barren wall over there just feels completely not you. Where are the cool pictures? Where are the autographs? Where's the momentum of all the amazing things that you've done over the past couple of years? Well, it's a bit of a long and complicated story. Please, I'd love to hear from you. Tell me all about what's bothering you. It's my 30th birthday, and I looked back on my life over the past couple of years and realize that I haven't accomplished anything. I don't have any real-life friends that I can meet up with in person. I make the same amount of money at my current job that I've been in over the past couple of years that I've made in my job that I had in college about like 10 years ago. And 
everybody else around me has gone on to have successful careers, gotten married, and even had kids, and I'm just stuck here as the same lonely, pathetic person who still lives in her parents' house and just hasn't done anything. It's funny, I, I look back at my old yearbooks sometimes from high school, and I always just think to myself, man... You are chosen to be the person who is supposed to most likely to succeed. And I'm sure that everybody else around you has gone off to do that while you are just been staying here in the same old rut. I guess what I'm trying to say is that I don't know what I'm doing anymore. I don't even know where to go. I don't even know where to start. I've tried starting in so many places, but it seems like I always end up in the same location. Stuck in a rut, crashing into walls, meeting up on dead ends, always stuck in the same place. Like, I feel like I can't even go anywhere. I feel like I'm just wasting time. That I'm not getting any younger. And that other side of me was right. I should just stop old school lane and focus on being an adult and doing the things that I should. Ah, oh, yeah, I see. The pre-midlife crisis. At least in one point in our lives we're going through it, and I guess with your 30th birthday it's no exception, huh? But you seem to forget of all the things that you've accomplished, even past that. Like, you weren't the same person that you were 10 years ago. You weren't the same person that you were 15 years ago. In fact, I've got a couple of goodies for you. Remember this? Wow, I remember these. These were my old high school photos. That's right. It just seemed like only yesterday that your mom found out from the doctor that you weren't able to speak, you weren't able to graduate from high school, let alone make friends or function in normal society. It just seemed like a fantasy to this doctor since autism was still a brand new thing. But your mom didn't lose hope and neither should you. You were able to accomplish so much from graduating from high school. And you were able to complete much more from that. I have another thing for you. Remember this? Yes. This is when I graduated from college. And I got the certificate for computer support. This was like over 10 years ago. That's right, college. Four <laughs> long, hard years of studying, taking tests, and making sure that you can get the best grades possible. You were on the Dean's List twice! Now that's an accomplishment that not a lot of people can say. Yeah, but that was a long time ago. I'm 30 years old! I feel like I'm getting to the point in which if I don't do anything, it'll be too late for me. Who's to say that you need to rush into marriage and having kids and getting a nice big home? You see... Even though that you're not at the place that you're at right now, that doesn't mean that you won't get there. Even though that it took you a little bit longer to accomplish the goals that you needed to, you still did it. Yeah. And I must tell you, you're definitely not the same person from when you first started old school lane. I mean, after all, remember the first time that you started old school lane? All those blogs that you used to post almost every single day? Like, from first impressions to doing articles about the upcoming news and little quote-unquote rants. <laughs> oh yeah, I remember. Oh god, that was such a long time ago. I thought of us doing first impressions of all the upcoming stuff that was on TV and movies that we can be able to talk about our opinions of it, but then that got old pretty fast. And as for covering the latest news, again, that got pretty fast. And the rants, I just was never satisfied with it, and I decided to post about things that were more positive, that made me feel good whenever I read them, to hoping that maybe other people who read them will make them feel good. And you've evolved from that. You went off doing podcasts, and then eventually you got special guests. Remember how excited you were when you first interviewed Mark Summers? Oh yeah, I remember. I was so, so nervous. I could barely comprehend that I was speaking to somebody important from my childhood. But I did it. I remember me picking up the phone, writing down the questions, and answering them and talking to him. It was such an amazing moment. It was
was something I would never forget. Yes! There you go! I feel that little spark coming back. And what about all those awesome events that you've gone to that couldn't have been done if you didn't start Old School Lane? The slime book event, all the conventions that you went to, all the people that you met up with. Now that you think about it, you're right. I mean, jeez. Not going to the slime book event for two years? All this, the, the times that I've been to Florida Supercon, Magic City Comic Con, and Megacon? I wouldn't have met all the people that I watched growing up. All the voice actors and the amazing artists and all the things I was able to see over there. I don't know what my memories would be if I didn't experience them. And then of course there's Manic Expression. Yeah, Manic Expression. They became like my second family. James, Les, Decker, Creepy, Jim, Alex, Edwin, Martin, <laughs> and even all the people that were there previously that are no longer, like Megan and David and Gurney Chimp, and even the guys from PlayStation that went off to do different things. Tom, Tristan, Nick. But I was able to make friends. Sure, they're not friends that I can be able to sit down in person and have lunch or go see a movie with, or just hang out, but they still mean a lot to me. They... They were there for me on my ups and downs. They've guest starred on my podcast, and they made me feel okay when I was down, and they made me feel great when I was up. I don't know what I'd be without them. Look, it may seem small now, but it'll grow into something someday. And if it doesn't, then don't think of Old School Lane as a complete waste of time. Think of it as a stepping stone that you need to accomplish bigger things. I mean, let's think about it. You could continue to pursue being a journalist. You can maybe start your own independent podcast and maybe do it for your local radio station. I mean, the possibilities are endless. I mean, this is the 21st century. We can be able to do whatever we want with the sources that we have. You're right. Let's do this. What do you think you're doing? I... I... I knew you were gonna go weak on me. I knew that you weren't gonna do this for much longer. I would suggest that you listen to reason and please get back to what you were doing. Go back to living life as you should. It's your insecurities taking you down. Calm yourself. Think about it rationally. You can take her down. Don't listen to her. She's trying to lead you down the wrong path. She's trying to bring you back into that state where everything is all happy and smiley in the world while you're accomplishing nothing by just sitting there and typing into your computer. I'm just so frustrated I can't even handle it. Just don't even think about it. You are doing what you are doing right. By taking down your items from your wall and posting to everybody that you were gonna stop doing this stupid nonsense. Now, get yourself straightened and please, I beg of you, let us continue to go down the path that you were meant to take. Remember, this is your choice. You need to decide on what you wanna do with your life. I know you can do it. Just be brave. No, you can't push me down. I make the decisions on who I get to be. And as for you, you don't just push me around like that. You can't just bring me down and make me forget about all the good things that I've done in my life. This blog may be a time waster for you, but to me, it is so much more than just typing in on what nostalgic thing is in my mind right now. It's more to me than just talking to a friend for an hour or two about some topic, such as a movie or a TV show or a video game. It's more to me than just inviting somebody that I grew up with that I want to talk to them for a few minutes to get to know them. This, to me, is a part of me. 
It's a part of me that I want to share to the world. And I think in my personal opinion, it has not been a waste of time. I've learned a lot from doing Old School Lane. Because of this, I'm able to talk to people. Because of this, I'm able to expand my writing skills. Because of this, I'm able to expand my social skills. And as for people like you saying that it's a waste of time that I haven't accomplished anything, it's nothing more than just a big lie. A big lie that does not deserve to be in my head messing with me. I'm warning you. You better not do this to me. And I would suggest for you to get away from me. Get away from me and don't bother me again with your negative emotions. Fine. If you're gonna choose this path, then so be it. But I'll let you know that you are going to regret this one day. You're gonna think back and you're gonna say to yourself, man, I should have listened to reason. I should have stopped doing this. I should have gotten a better job. I should have gotten more friends that are not from computers. I should have maybe found a significant other, but no. You chose to listen to, to her? Fine, so be it. But see to it that I will always be there telling you what's right. This is not the last that you'll hear from me. You see, you did it. But I know for sure that she's going to be coming back. Sure she'll come back. She's always going to be there. But guess what? So will I. Yeah, I'll try to remember that, but it's just going to be really hard for me. But I know that life is hard sometimes. And that you just need to take everything that you learned and just push yourself to become a better person than you were yesterday. Just remember... Even if you think that you're not doing anything better with your life, think of it as doing something different that'll accomplish something something different for you later on. Continue to push yourself, Patricia. And someday, things will make sense to you. Happy birthday. Thanks for everything. Hey Patricia and Tony here, aka your friendly reviewer of operas, concerts, movies, anime, and cartoons, and a guy who just loves to do what he's passionate about. And I want to wish you a very happy birthday, and I really feel that you are a very great and genuine friend, and overall a wonderful human being. Now how did I first get introduced to a lot of your works? Well, I was basically browsing upon a lot of Nicktoon reviews until I stumbled upon Old School Lane. That was where I read a lot of your articles on a daily basis and actually found myself to be a very huge fan of them because of just how well written they are, how well expressed they are, and how honest they are. So Patricia, here's to a lot of more wonderful years to come and a lot of more wonderful content and lots of love to you my friend. Hey Patricia, cool gamer 311 here. I found out about Old School Lane through Nick Slimecast podcast, through Blame It on Jorge's top 40 banned or lost uh, episodes of kids shows. In that video it was uh, an episode of Nick's Missile uh, that was talking about Ned's Classified High School Survival Guide and the channel, Nick Slimecast Podcast, looked very interesting. I checked him out, found out about Old School Lane, and I've been a fan of both ever since. Uh, through those channels, I found out about many great Nick shows that I never heard about before then, uh, such as As Told by Ginger, and yeah, it's been great being a fan. I've been a fan for probably about nine months now. So yeah, happy birthday and many more. Patricia, this is Augusto Martinez. Well, how I got introduced to to Old School Lane? Well, I actually uh, I, last year on February, late February 2015, I actually watched the video of Blaming on George, the 40 
lost episode, lost or bad episodes, and he just have to include Nancy Classify High School's Ryan Guy, and therefore he included one part of the of the video for Dick's Vessel, and then a few months later I subscribed to their channel, and then eventually to Old School Lane, and I think I really I like your videos, videos. I mean they are good. Thank you for answering my questions in the live Q&A. Okay. And happy birthday. Bye. Happy birthday, Patricia! 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 So, I'm going to discuss how I um, got into your video about Invader Zim. Like, Invader Zim's the greatest character ever. Because he is! <laughs> Invader Zim's really cool and I like him. But, the truth is, I am a big fan of another show, besides, besides Invader Zim. Uh, the, the, the big fan that I am to another show as to, um, Invader Zim is Yokai Watch! Look at that, look at those two! It's Whisper! It's Jabonyan! USA Bunny then came into the US dub yet, so, um, it's just Whisper and Jabalion right now, so, um, USA Bunny did not get dubbed yet, but if you ever do a video about Yokai Watch, just remember that I like this show besides Invader Zim. It's got the same humor as Invader Zim, kinda, Yokai Watch, but typically, typically these two would have something in common if they had, but, um, Yokai Watch was created back in 2011, and it was a game first, and it was not anime until 2014, and, and, and currently, like, Yokai Watch has a bunch of episodes. Right now, there's, like, 116 of them, 117 next week, I guess, and, and plus more coming in about Yokai Watch, and typically, I'm a big fan of both Invader Zim and Yokai Watch. And I do know Chris Niosi. I do know him, but he he has yet to like reply to me and he will reply to me when he feels like it. Um um typically um typically I I, I will re reply back to Chris when he says something but not right now because he hasn't said anything back to me yet. Um so, um, yeah, I am very interested in your videos, Patricia, when you, when you see the baby or Zim, and when you have a chance, just, just do Yokai Watch, okay? Uh, and I do like Chris Niosi, too. Chris Niosi's the best funny guy who knows his important information that he knows and stuff. He's, I know, I mean, I really am, am fans of them and yokai. I know what I mean. That's all I got to say, Patricia. Bye! Hey, it's Matthew Clickstein here, author of Slime, and Oral History of Nickelodeon's Golden Age, and a uh, good friend of Patricia Miranda. Just want to uh, wish her a very happy 30th birthday. Um, I actually had the honor of being interviewed by Patricia. Uh, she was actually the very first person to interview me, even before the book came out, and uh, that was a lot of fun. I've gotten to know Patricia over the last few years, and uh, she is nostalgia incarnate. Uh, so, uh, looking forward to uh, many more episodes of Old School Lane, and uh, many more birthdays ahead for you, Patricia. Uh, have a good one. Hi, Cassine Gaines here, just wishing a very happy 30th birthday to Patricia at Old School Lane. Always a great time talking with you, great seeing you in New York, a couple times I saw you. Uh, I'm here in the Mystery Machine, I'm going to hop out so you can see it. I'm stuck in the, I'm actually stuck in the Mystery Machine, so Patricia, I'm just going to drive down and say happy birthday to you in person. See you soon. Greetings, Patricia from Old School Lane. This is Michelle. 
also known as Baby Booby, who was told by Ginger Reviewed, and I'm here to wish you a happy 30th birthday, and many more to come. My birthday wish for you is to get more viewership on YouTube and Blogspot, because you guys are just so talented at what you do, and I hope more people get to see it, especially since nostalgia has been getting huge in the past few years. Once again, congratulations, and... Hey Patricia, it's Kira, and I just wanted to wish you a rockin' birthday. Hey Patricia, this is Bilal. Um, I just wanted to tell you, before you begin to the month, Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Thanks for all your support, and I had to return the support back to you. I hope you have a great birthday on May. And coincidentally, my birthday is also in May, so Gemini's over here. Well, I think kind of Gemini, I think we're still in Taurus season. I'm not sure. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you have a wonderful birthday, and thanks for thinking of me. Bye. Happy birthday, Patricia. Hey, Patricia, this is Brandon, formerly of Game Trailers, currently of Easy Allies, wishing you a very happy and hopefully not belated birthday. I'm Grace. And I'm Derek. And we're Stomp Skeletons from Piety. And we're wishing Patricia a happy 30th birthday. Happy birthday! 30 and flirty. Woo! Happy birthday. Really? The one time you give me an E-Tank. Oh well. Happy birthday! I want to wish my very dear friend Patricia happy birthday. But as the boys would say, happy birthday, dudette! And as the original April O'Neil would say, happy birthday, Patricia. April O'Neil, Channel 6 News, signing out. Have a good day. Bye-bye. What's up, Patricia? I just wanted to say happy birthday. Uh, this is Elisa Reyes. You did an interview on me a while back. I'm from All That on Nickelodeon. I play La Sienica from The Proud Family. One world, passions, and I know you remember who I am. I just want you to know that I'm sending you love and light. Um, I wish you all the best. I honestly look forward to the day that I actually get a chance to meet you. You've always been so kind to me, and I'm glad that we stay in touch, and I really wish you a happy, happy birthday. Hi, Patricia. Greg Lee here. I just want to welcome you to the club. Uh, the club being the people that celebrate their birthday well past the time of their birthday. I'm one of those people. I will celebrate my birthday a good two months after my birthday is over. I will accept gifts clear through the summer. So, happy birthday. Welcome to the club of late celebrators. Continual celebrators. And to everybody down there at Old School Lane, it's a great show. It's a pleasure being on your show. I hope you had a happy birthday and continue to have one throughout the rest of the summer. Okay, talk to you later, Greg Lee. Oh wait, you know who it is. I just said, oh, never mind. If I could edit this, I would, but it would take me too long. It took me long enough to get this to you anyway. Happy birthday. Hey, Gabby here. Just wanted to wish you a happy birthday to you. Much love. Woo! Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Patricia. Happy birthday to you. Woo. Happy birthday, Patricia. Hey, happy birthday, Patricia. Now get out of here. I'm bony, I'm bony. Leave me alone. Birthday, Patricia. Thank you very much for watching Wienerville. Now get out of here! Oh my gosh. That's that's the best thing anybody's ever given me. I feel so eternally grateful. <sighs> Please God.
got a bushy black handlebar mustache. He travels everywhere, but never there and back. Well, should we wait for you? I can't help myself. I always do. Pray and pray and pray. I know you'll never ever stay. It's just not you. It's just not you. Taekwondo. We've got a colossal birthday cake. Would you like to take some home? We were happy to be drugged and dragged around this little tugboat of a town. 'Cause when you disappear, my dear, every day feels like a year. Please stay around. Please stay around.